to experience a lot of the masters early. I was uh, 12 at the time, and I used to go to this jazz club in my hometown, Buffalo. And the owner, you know, fortunately for me, would let me sneak in. Jimmy was coming into town, and I had never met Jimmy, but obviously uh, a huge fan. So I asked the owner, I said, oh, where's Jimmy staying? He said, oh, some hotel on Main Street in Buffalo. Right. So I called, uh, Jimmy Smith's room, please. He picks him, hello, with Jimmy Smith's voice. I said, Mr. Smith, this is Ronnie Foster. I'm a little young organ player around in town. You got to show me something. He said, boy, when you hear me play, you won't want to play anymore. He wanted to know how hungry I was. He wasn't just giving it up, you know. So next day, we met at the club, and that started our, our relationship. George Benson was a huge fan of Jimmy. And so George came in early to catch Jimmy's last set. Jimmy goes, George, meet a little young organ player, Ronnie Foster. And I started playing with George on weekends when I was 15, still in, in school, you know. And then you go on to breezing and all that stuff. And it, that introduction changed my whole musical path. Jazz, I think, is one of the few musics that can incorporate every style of music. It's a chameleon. It can be anything. All music is valid. If you don't like it, that's okay. But whatever music is, is what that person is feeling. You know, so it's valid because it, it comes from somewhere. Mm -hmm.